I would like to uh, uh, speak to Dr. Chinu Agarwal on this. Dr. Agarwal, thank you for making time. And while we were discussing this, that, uh, you know, the, the larger problem at hand is that we need to be sensitive. How do we deal with these issues? How do we understand a special child's uh, mental health, their anxiety, what they are going through? Uh, could you help us understand, uh, and, and as Mukda also uh, very rightly detailed, everything for us, but in your view, what is the best way to handle such situations? Okay, so let me help the audiences step by step in first understanding what is anxiety. Anxiety is a perceived threat in the environment wherein our physiology, our system, our biological system responds to it in three ways fight, flight, or freeze. It is commonly seen that people, when they perceive a threat, so we have so many phobias, like a person can perceive a lizard as a threat or a, a lift as a threat or, you know, a, a water as threat, and they may start having this panic attack. For Children with disability, special ability and autism, like um, I don't know the exact diagnosis of this child, but as Mukda also indicated, it is probably autism. Uh, the child is on autism spectrum and it is very common to see children with autism behave like this where they have the sensory overload where they are reacting to the environment as if it is a threat and they feel unsafe over there. And so how do we deal with it? By creating a safe atmosphere around them, by soothing their senses. And that's what the parents also did. They tried to hug him, they tried to protect him. And there are a few things if we can, you know, remember how to deal with sensory overload. Let us count the five senses. One is the skin. So maybe you can wipe the skin with some wet wipes and that might soothe the skin. You can use a mild perfume or a scented lotion to soothe the smell. You may help the child to, you know, um, avoid the sensory overload in the ears by putting some headphones or the earphones. But the most important thing is the attitude of the people, the bystanders. And so, you know, the bystanders who were the co-passengers in this case seem to be very understanding and empathetic of the situation of the trio, the mother, father and the child. But the airline staff probably was not aware as to how to handle the situation. And as the child went into a meltdown and a panic attack, the staff also went into the same panic attack. And they thought that, you know, a thing that was not threat, uh, threatful, they considered it as a threat. So both the people are almost same in this situation. And so we don't know whom to soothe first. One thing, second thing, as Mukda spoke about something called as neurodiversity. This neurodiversity term is a very new term which has come into our knowledge um, since last couple of decades. Judy Singer, one sociologist who herself suffered from autism, uh, use this term. And she said, why don't we widen the definition of the word normal and include people who react differently in some of the situations because they have got different brain than you. And how is it that you always want to push their behaviors into typical box and you say that because I am behaving like this, you also have to behave like this. I'll give you a simple example to understand what is neurodiversity. So let us say there are two children in a classroom. One is very good at mathematics and he scores 90 to 100 marks in every test. There is other 
child who struggles with maths, he puts in more hours trying to practice his sums, but he ends up getting 60 out of 100. Now, you cannot say that the other boy is abnormal. He is also normal, but he has got different skills than the first boy. Yes. And so neurodiversity, the term now means that we have we can have different kinds of skills than other people. If we define okay. these problems in such a way, we will be able to accommodate them. We will be able to include them. We will be able to exercise more empathy with them. We will be able to handle these situations with more care right. and more sensitivity. 